All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I took the DJI Neo 2 out for his very first flight, and that tracking absolutely blew me away. Still with me? <laughs> this is cool. The way it locked on and stayed with me was honestly next level. Today, we're picking up right where we left off and diving into the DJI Neo 2 intelligent flight modes. I'll be testing quick shots like circle, dialy zoom, and the brand new selfie shot mode, plus a few other smart features DJI packed in here. Boomerang, helix, spotlight, rocket. So, let's get started. All right, so we're back here at the school, and what we're gonna do is uh, do some of the intelligent flight features, and we're gonna use the buttons on the drone. There's three buttons here on the drone, and this is what you use to select the modes, and then also to activate it. So uh, you can cycle through the modes with these Dolly two buttons. Zoom, rocket, two buttons. Circle, droney, selfie shot, follow, cycling follow, dolly zoom, All right. rocket. You can use these three, two buttons here to select them. And then uh, if you hold down on the buttons, you can go into the, the sub menu and select uh, the parameters for that actual function. And once you hit it again, 20 meters. All right, then you'll select it. Uh, and then you can just press the red button here to activate it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so what we're going to do is do a circle uh, to start off with. And I want to uh, change the distance. I want to keep it, keep it close. Six meters, four meters. And it's in meters. I don't know why it is. Six because meters. I do have it in, I have it in feet on here. I did change the settings on the app. Maybe Four I need to meters. restart it on the drone, but um, two meters. I'm going to keep it at seven feet, two meters, and I'm going to keep it flat. So let's go ahead and press the button. Two meters, circle, three, two, one. Two meter circle, hopefully it doesn't, uh, here we go, we're going to keep it tight, keep it close. And, nice. And it should return back to me, and all I need to do is hold my hand out, and it will land. All right, so let's go to the next one. Let's try Drony. Drony. And it looks like the Drony is at 13, 13 feet, so I'm going to change that. Circle. Oop, I'm sorry. Drony. And then I'm going to, I want to change the distance on the Drony, so I'm going to hold down one of the buttons here. And then... Two meters. Two meters. Twenty meters. Ten meters. All right, let's do 33 feet, ten meters. Um, we're going to select that and then I have it set to rise. If you can see here on the app, I have it set to rise. Let's start it. I'm clear in the background here and also it has ob obstacle avoidance. So hopefully if it does run ac across an obstacle, it will, you know, stop or bypass. 10 meters. Drony. And it should come back, so it should record both ways, hopefully. Yep. So it stops and then starts recording again as it comes back. And it's really close. I don't know why it's so close. All right. Maybe that's a setting in there I need to <laughs> change, but it starts out very close. All right, folks, it's about that time. If you are enjoying this video, if you uh, find any useful, please give it a thumbs up because it does help YouTube push it out to more people who are searching for content such as this. So let's move on to the next one. Selfie shot. All right, selfie shot uh, is basically, it takes a few photos of you at, in different perspectives or different angles. And uh, let's try that out actually. This is actually a new one that uh, wasn't on the last one. So the parameters I have is set to three shots and then just one set per shot. Three shots, 
shot sizes. Selfie shot. Three, two, one. Alright, so that beep, I guess, was the obstacle avoidance. Alright. And then, another perspective. And then, close up. So I do have uh, some people over here about to play some basketball, of course. We're going to run through a couple more. Follow. Nope. Cycling follow. Dolly All right, so zoom. the rest, this is a dolly zoom. I have the dolly zoom uh, set to full, and I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, set to 17 feet. So let's go ahead and try that. Set to 17 feet. It's going backwards. Should be zooming out or zooming in as it's moving backwards. And then I think it may do it going forward. Yes, it does do it going forward as well. So you get two, uh, two dolly zooms in one. So in this customized menu here, I do have a lot more um, selections that I can get. So what I'm going to do is just bring some of these up here and master shots I think there. So we're going to do one of my favorites. We're going to try the rocket. Cycling master shot helix All right. boomerang dolly zoom rocket. All right, rocket is set to 13 feet, so we're going to um, change that. Select 20 it. 20 meters. 10 meters. 6 meters. 4 meters, 20 meters. All right, 20 meters is the highest that we can go. And then I'm going to change it to a rotation. Spin on. Yep, there we go. So we're going to have a re rotation, and uh, it's going to go 60, 66 meters. All right, so we're going to select that, and let's go ahead and start it. 20 meters, rocket. Alright, so it should rise above me, get above me. Alright, there we go. And it should go and start rotating. That's pretty fast. It's not slow. It's not a slow rotation, I'll tell you that. If I put my hand out, yeah, if I put my hand out, it comes down. Whoa, <laughs> a little windy. This wind is actually taking it <laughs> a little bit and it reacted to it. Uh, let's try something else. Helix. All right, let's do a helix. So we have it set to 13 feet. Uh, I'm going to reduce that. Hopefully I can reduce that. All right, we're going to reduce it to 10 meters. Six meters. Reduce it to 6 meters, 20 feet. That should be enough, hopefully. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and start. All right, it's setting up. And go ahead and start. All right, it's doing a helix. It does one rotation around, it seems like, and then it should come back to me. Let's go. All right, we have boomerang 13 feet. I'm gonna keep that in close, so I'm gonna change that. Let's do four meters. Keep it in tight, 
we have people back here playing basketball, so. <laughs> All right, this thing gets real close up on you. I can tell you that, all up in your face <laughs> to start off. All right. Nice and smooth. All right, and that's it. How much battery do I have left? Oh, I got a lot of battery left. And I think the last thing we're gonna do is the spotlight mode. All right, so it should follow me around. What I'm gonna do is see if I can do the hand gestures and spread it apart. Nice. And I can also put it down over there and up. There we go. And close my hand. And here we go. Maybe bring it down a little bit. All right. And there you go. I can show off the bike if I want to. I can get on a bike and maybe ride around and have this. Uh, camera track me or track me around in maybe a circle or something as I uh, show off the bike. So let's bring this in and bring it up. I'm going to reposition it and put it over here. All right, so I'm over here in the sun actually. Let's put it over here in a better shot. All right, that's better. How's that look? All I need to do is put my hand out and it comes back to me and we're all good. All right, so I think I went through pretty much all the, the intelligent flight modes, uh, except for the master shot, but I will save that for a different time because I want to actually track a little bit more. I do have a little bit, um, a little bit of battery left, like half left. So let's go ahead and uh, start do a little bit more tracking and bring this on in. Let's hit this little trail back here and uh, head on home. All right, let's see how it does. We're gonna uh, hit a couple of uh, low-lying branches here. Some low branches, all right, we got it. We got a little sharp turn here. And uh, a couple of low-lying branches here. It's keeping up with me. It's a little slippery back here with these leaves. All right, it's keeping up with me pretty good. Let's see how it does in front. Let's uh, put this in front. All right, the obstacle avoidance is kicking in. Let's see if it does when I go over here a little bit. All right, now it's gonna swing in front of me. And let's see if we can go backwards through here. Let's see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit. Uh, maybe not. All right, let's go. Oh, it's got some branches there. Uh, avoiding it. Just gotta keep it slow. Because the faster you go, the less time it has to react. Nice. All right, let's swing it over here. There's, actually, I think it's muddy over here. <laughs> oh, 
uh, right into the branch. Woo. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do too well with branches. Props look okay. Everything else looks okay. Just got to be careful because of, uh, you know, obstacle avoidance is not <laughs> a guarantee. Let's go. Keep it in the rear and we're gonna head home. Man. Look like it clicked the branch. Let's get a side. Um, yeah, let's swing it over to the side and go a little higher. All right. I'm in, since I'm in open, open field, Since I'm in the open field, I can actually do it. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> I want to get a, have enough so I can get back home. Actually, I barely have enough. So let's put this and let's go ahead and book it. Let's put a medium and put it down. Put it flat. Coming through, coming through. Excuse me. Thanks. All right, battery's already low, so we probably won't be able to make it home. Cancel that. Whoa, shoot. Tried to cancel it, couldn't cancel it. Maybe I did. All right, so I'm getting a critically low battery. Can't make it home. Let's, uh, let's land this. All right, so that's it for the tracking. And uh, probably just end it right here. There's no need to go home and end it since it's already done. This Neo 2 is definitely a big improvement over the last one. It keeps up very well. I was going over maybe 20 miles per hour, probably like maybe 22 to 24 miles per hour, and it was sticking right with me. The front track and side track stays with you as well. Only thing, you know, I have a concern about is the obstacle avoidance. The obstacle avoidance uh, could be a little better, but uh, overall, <laughs> this is a great drone, very versatile drone. It's very uh, durable too. As you saw, I ran it into a, I crashed into a sign pretty much at a at top speed uh, around maybe 20 miles per hour, I think, maybe 15 to 20 miles per hour, and it survived. So great drone. We'll be using it a lot, especially for my e-bike reviews. So if you like this video and you like this type of content, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for future content, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.